So we just came across a delightful treasure trove here. The dilemma is, is that I have the Gauntlets of Fire Giant Strength. Go ahead and give it to him since it only takes off two of his armor. She's not going past that negative ten. That takes the wizard to negative one though, that's good. We are so running out of room here. Cursed motherfucking item. Get rid of that shitty cursed sword. Alright. What now? As you emerge from the forest into a small clearing, the ghostly form of a man appears from nowhere to confront you. Well, well, well. I see that the violence of the forest have finally come to carve out its heart. Tell me, why should I not wither you away to nothingness, as you have done to so many parts of my forest? We do, want, we do not want trouble. We seek a way into the city. Petty fools, do you think you can do against the evil of Mithranor? Better heroes than you have tried their skill at banishing the evil, and they have paid with their lives. I do know a way to the city, but I don't think you are quite worthy of the information. Maybe I should let my children just rip you limb from limb. You reply, look, we don't see any need for confrontation, confrontation you ghostly druid son of a bitch. We do apologize for cutting down those trees, but for the greater good, we must reach the ruined city. If you really have been around for so long, why don't you share some of your lore? Perhaps with your knowledge and our might, we can restore the forest and Mithranor together. Grudgingly, the old man begins to speak. I suppose it would do a little harm to tell you of the history of Mithranor. Once, long ago, Mithranor was an elven camp, a community of large inhabited trees, of clear springs and pools. Later it became an elven city, a place of needle-sharp spiles of growing hollow wood linked by treacherous suspension spans that were either rallies of wooden arches or precarious running ropes. The city grew in size, and the might of the elven communities of the western dragon reach over some two thousand years until humans first came north, short of the sea of fallen stars. The king of the elves invited all the races, human, elf, dwarf, halfling, and gnome, to come and live in harmony. Together they lived to build up defense of the city so that the goblin kin races would not be a threat. Mithranor earned the name the Towers of Beauty among bards, and as the years passed the happiness reigned all over, and the elves gave it the name the City of Love and Celebration of the Peace and Contentment enjoyed by all races of Ferun. Yet the gods grew restless and all things changed under their hands. Greatness is always hurled down in the end. So it was with Mithranor and as all with great cities. The downfall of Mithranor began with the arrival of creatures from the outer plains. They joined with the goblin races and overran Mithranor. The armies of the Shadow Realm were so numerous that every hundred foes dispatched by the city's defenders, a thousand more took their place. Evacuation of the city became necessary, and most of the inhabitants of the city escaped thanks to the devotion of the defenders. One defender in particular, Captain Flau, was especially heroic. He slew many of the shadow beasts with a sword that burned with the blue fire. Unfortunately for us, he fell that day, and we buried him with honors in the royal tomb. He will always be remembered by the children of those he saved. I, too, died that fateful day, but the love of this forest and Mithranor kept me alive in spirit. I will protect this forest until the end of time. Perhaps, if you are truly worthy and you restore Mithranor, I will at last find my rest. 
Know that Drith, Mithranor, and I are one, and that I alone dictate whether or not you reach the ruins. If you pass my test, I shall show you the path to the ruins of the great city. We will gladly take your test, old fart. The test is a simple one. Have one member of your party choose one of my books to read. Choose carefully, for all the books are beneficial, and all the books are harmful. Choose wisely, and you will be rewarded. Choose poorly, and you will feel Mithranor's wrath. Cassius attains level 12 and gains a hit point. You have chosen wisely, says the ancient sage. The path will be shown unto you. May fortune walk at your side. And don't cut down any more trees, goddammit! Alright. And we finally get a fucking spell here. Let's try true scene. Oh, eight cone of colds. It's a lot of cone of colds. Break. Through the trees, you behold the ruined city of Mithranor. Dark clouds hover above, portending certain doom for any travelers bold enough to reach the heart of the city. Do you have the strength and courage to continue? No, I don't. No kidding, I do. I do. And here we are. The outskirts, the ruined city of... The guild hall quarter runes. Let's go slay some shit. Kamira. <laughs> Fucking dropping them like bad habits, man. Not even a contest. about my mama <laughs> remove curse improved invisibility water breathing slow visibility 10 foot radius and a thousand foot diameter See if we can scribe any of those. I already got it. Cassius has copied water breathing. Cassius has copied slow. Cassius already has the stupid spell. I need another damn mage in the party. Break! Be soon for a break, all right. A break in your face. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh. 
cut down evil hags and bitches. Fuck that statue up. We'll be back with another video. Stay tuned for more. I the Beholder 3. Mr. Nora awaits.